My name is Gareth Latty, and in this video I'm going to talk about list comprehensions in Python. First, a few words about my environment. I'm using PyCharm, which is my IDE of choice for Python. It's not free and it's not open source, but there are special licenses available for people writing open source software in it and academic licenses available for students. So if you are looking for an IDE, I do recommend you give it a look. I'm using Python 3, as some of the features here didn't exist in older versions of Python. I would therefore recommend using Python 3 if you would like to follow along. I'm also running Arch Linux, but as this is Python, it's cross-platform, so it really shouldn't matter what operating system you're running. So what is a list comprehension? In short, it's a way to build up a new list from the modified elements of an old list. It's a common situation. For example, I have this list here called something, and I want to add world to the end of each of the strings in this list. So how would we implement this normally? Well, we begin with an empty list. Then we would loop through our existing list and append the altered versions. As you can see, this has worked and we've added world to the end of each of the strings. Some people might go about this in a different way, using the map built-in. The map built-in applies a function to each element of a list and then returns an iterable containing those elements. We use this in conjunction with the lambda statement, which if you haven't come across it, allows you to make very simple functions quickly, like so. If we use this in conjunction with the map built-in, we can do the same thing we did before, but all on one line, like so. And as you can see, it works as before. Note that I used list in there because the map function returns an iterable. So if you don't use the list function, we simply get a map object. This is a shorter method of doing it. You can do it all in one line. And it's also slightly faster as map implements the loop at a lower level. So, this is a more concise and fast method of doing it. But Python provides a much more elegant way, the list comprehension. The list comprehension allows you to do the same thing, but with a much more Pythonic syntax. And here it is. And like that, we have the same list we produced before. This is a much nicer way of doing it, because it's very readable, it's but faster than both a map and a normal loop, and it's also very nice to look at. It's concise, it reads like English, and it's formed using square brackets in the same way that list literals are. It's also very powerful, you can do more with it. Say, for example, that I wanted to filter my list, and... I want to exclude the goodbye elements in the list by doing something like this.
As you can see, it's produced the same list but without the goodbye element. So a list comprehension is formed by the statement defining the form of the items in the list, in this case x plus world, the for statement, the iterable you're using to form it, so for x in something, and potentially an if statement. This gives it a lot of power and allows you to create quite complicated lists very easily. And not only that, but also do it in a way that anyone can take a glance at and understand what you mean to do. It makes Clode clearer, faster, and is therefore definitely worth using. Python also provides other types of comprehension, not just for lists, but also sets, dictionaries, and generators. To create these, you simply modify the syntax slightly. If I use curly brackets instead of square brackets, I can produce set. As you can see, the elements are no longer ordered and there are no duplicate elements. You can also use dictionary comprehensions using the colon to separate the key and value. Here I use the original element as the key and world as the value, and as you can see, it's produced the dictionary. You can even create generators by using normal brackets. As you can see, this creates a generator object, which, if I do as I did before, creates a list. Creating a generator object which functions like any other generator, gives you all of the benefits of a generator. You generate the objects lazily, so they're not created all at once, like in a list comprehension, but instead as needed. This means that, unlike with any other comprehension, you can use an infinite iterator as the source, or one where, for example, generating a list comprehension would take too long if you did it all at the beginning. I hope this demonstrates the power of the list comprehension and its various cousins and shows you why you should use them in your Python code. In my experience, they are a very underused tool, and they give you the opportunity to give both clarity and speed to your program, and are a very Pythonic tool that will make your life a bit easier. Thanks for watching.